Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Pixel Experience 9.0 for Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro or the Redmi Note 5 AI. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, guys, let me tell you at the first that this is the best ROM ever I have used. Like, literally, playing PUBG, having scrolling through the notifications, everything's multitasking, everything is great. I don't know why, but this ROM seems to be the best ever for I do I'm not like discriminating this is best or not but in my user experience like a user I'm speaking it's the best for me and users like every uh, everyone wants the best ROM like which they will use as a daily user so this is the one which you can use as a daily user but one compromise is that customization so we're starting with the launcher we have the pixel launcher as you can see the latest one and it's really snappy all of the things working really great yeah it's pixel snappy and then going into home screen home screen settings we have all of the pixel launch settings just like google app on home screen change icon shape and suggestions and add a glance and let's go into the app draw as you can see all google apps are present pre-built and some you need to install if you want then i'm using some apps like it's a gaming world cricket championship um, sometimes i played and pubg mobile i always played and yes that is a great thing the performance it's it's really great on PUBG so all of the apps are working really flawlessly and we smooth. get the pixel wallpapers like the Google wallpapers app by default and as this is the pixel experience we get all of the pixel ex pixel 3 wallpapers as you can see in here so it's renamed as pixel 2018 folder and we get the command play in the shadows so all stuff from pixel also the latest uh, streamed Google wallpaper so this is really awesome. Also we do get the MIUI camera app as the default one as you can see all of the modes portrait, square, time lapse, panorama everything is working great so yeah this is now talking cool. about the performance as I already said it's top notch it is top notch and will be always top notch because it's pixel experience so it the smoothness matters also we get the pixel haptic feedback so this is really great we don't get that uh, hard vibration patterns and all so yeah a great thing uh, performance is doing here uh, apps opening and everything is really great so i really like this pixel experience talking over customizations we get pure pixel experience so we don't get any customization but we do have the gestures tab to switch to our pack and favorite navigation bar so this is great we don't get this in pixel 3 xl but we get this in pixel experience so this is great and we don't have much of the options maybe in the developer options uh, okay nothing you can set custom dpi maybe okay you can set custom dpi so we didn't get a lot of options also into the display as you can see uh, we don't get we get the normal mirror options device theme you can check to the arc or light and yeah, these are the normal options we get. We don't get any customizations because that's pixel experience, the pure pixel experience. So guys, I was almost about to miss the battery part. So let's take a look at the battery life and the battery life is really, really great. Like I won't, like I can't believe this is the battery life. Like on any other ROMs, this is the uh, screen on time. I get like eight hours or eight and 40 minutes fun here. I have already got 8 hours 30 minutes screen on time in a day of uses as you can 24 hours and with 25 percent battery left with PUBG gaming as you can see played for one hour eight minutes and gaming some chrome stuff youtube telegram so this is really well <laughs> telegram is used most for three hours four minutes i don't know why it shows three hours four minutes but yeah this is the battery life and it's really good the performance is good everything is good uh, in this ROM so I consider this for workers and like those who work in the office lately and also for the heavy users the gamers everyone this ROM is for but not for those who love customizations cause zero customizations available in this ROM so yeah I hope you guys have liked this video I've explained everything so if I missed something you can you are free to express it in the comment section and that's it guys for the video if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button subscribe here for the uh, like the red button in here will be here subscribe it and yep we'll see you guys in the next one till then watch this video and other videos on the redmi note 5 pro bye bye see you